I V M. Hey everybody, welcome to another week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Paytm Money. As we go into God knows what week of the lockdown, we've been trying to make sure that we get as much content out to you as possible. We had some interesting episodes in the last week. Cyrus says we had Angus Singh Ranyal on it. That was a fun episode to listen to. On the Filter Coffee podcast, we had Taslima Nasleen and Arunav Sinha on that. That was another great conversation. Karthik Srinivasan joined Varun on advertising instead. And guys, look for Pratik Oswal on Best of Us podcast with Anupam Gupta. That was another great episode. I'd also like to let people know that the show that we're doing with Mr. Ashish Vidyarthi, Begin the Journey, is now going to be releasing three times a week. So do check that out. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. And let's get started with your show. Hi, this is Shifa Maitra and welcome to Smile India. Hope you're getting used to being homebound by now. <laughs> Just kidding. But you would agree that nobody's missing the commute, pollution or being slave to the clock. These are tough times, but smiling and doing your bit to help whoever you can is the least we can all do. Like this labourer in Andhra Pradesh who felt she had to do something. She would see policemen standing in the hot sun every day making sure people stayed home. She saw them from her home, so the next time she stepped out to get her ration, she bought a couple of chilled soft drinks. Her daughter's eyes lit up, but she said it wasn't for them. She then walked up to the cops and handed it to them. They were touched, but refused to take it. She insisted, so they took one and asked her how much she earned. 3,500 rupees a month is what she said. And from that, she was buying this luxury for those who she believed were saving them. Sometimes you just get stunned and realized how much you can learn in life. Some other great news is coming from Chhattisgarh. Like the rest of the country, here too people do not have money, so they're queuing up at ration shops where they get basic essentials at a lesser cost. There are 56 lakh such ration card holding families who are below the poverty line. Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel decided to give them ration for free for the next two months. The administration noticed that there were still more hungry people who did not even have a ration card. The chief minister now decided that they too can come and take free ration for a month. A true leader does not let anyone starve under his watch. Well done, sir. Another wonderful initiative has begun in Mizoram. Everyone is home during the lockdown and done even rereading their books. So a youth organization decided to start a library that delivers books to your doorstep. They went through their own NGO's library and personal collections and catalogued the books, then made WhatsApp groups. Needless to say, the residents of Aizwal were thrilled. With the police and sanitizers, they go and deliver books. Maybe this can be replicated across India. What do you think? A child's first birthday is a landmark event at least for the family. When Myra was turning one, her parents in Ludhiana's Mansa district were upset. Forget the birthday party, they couldn't even get her a cake. When the local constable on duty came to check on them, they shared their plight. He could feel their angst and discussed it with his bosses. In a couple of hours, he was back at Myra's place. The Punjab police had got the city's best bakery to bake her a cake and head constable Gurdeep Singh had come with four other policemen on bikes who sang happy birthday on loudspeakers. Myra became the local celebrity. And what's delightful is that the DIG of the area has offered free birthday cakes for any child's first birthday if it's during lockdown. And on that lovely note, it's time for me to sign off. Before I go, here is something you can do. If shows and films are no longer exciting you, check out some great virtual tours of museums and national parks online. You can also enroll for free courses at Ivy League colleges or learn a new language. Also do check out Good News Indians on Facebook for positive pieces on India. For more interesting podcasts on a host of subjects, check out the IBM app or look for us wherever you get your podcasts from. Stay home, stay safe. Entertainment is like food for the brain. It's a window to culture and a great way to understand the world around us. The internet has changed what it means to be an entertainer, creating new storytellers with millions of fans. It has spawned a new breed, the story sellers, those behind the scenes creating the business for this ecosystem. They work with brands, platforms and channels who are keen to capitalize on an audience hungrier than ever for more stories. I am Vineet Kanabar and I have a ringside view to how stories are told and sold. On my show, I bring you creators, artists, executives and marketers 
for a freewheeling conversation around the business of entertainment. Tune in to Storytellers and Storysellers for personal stories, analysis and criticism every Thursdays as I talk to the brightest minds telling or selling great stories today. Janice, what do you think couples did before TV was invented? I don't know, go for walks on the beach, long drives, fancy dinners, have more sex maybe? But what did we do when we decided to move in together? We debated between the Chromecast and the Fire Stick. We gave up on sleeping early so we could stay up watching true crime shows. We got ourselves three cat babies and basically became the cutest couch potatoes around. Okay then. <laughs> in case you guys still haven't got it, we are a TV crazy, Netflix loving, binge watching Mr and Mrs. I'm Anirudh Kuha. I'm Janice Sequeira. And if like us you snort TV for breakfast, lunch and dinner, this is the podcast for you. Tune in every Thursday on the IVM podcast app or wherever it is that you get your podcast from. This is Mr and Mrs binge watch. watch.